Hey what's up everybody, Evie Y here, salute you wherever you are. What you're looking at is the latest pictures published by uh, George Farah, right, the trainer of Kai Green, the number one contender uh, to the Mr. Olympia title. It was second as you guys know, he's still chasing that title and he's not getting any younger. Now uh, he said he is weighing at 293 pounds on an empty stomach six weeks out of the Olympia, so just exactly the same uh, delay or the same time span as that of Big Grammy pictures which were published by his trainer this time around there is Big Dennis James right now these pictures in my opinion and in my reckoning are not innocent he published them for a reason because the criticism versus his um, athlete if we can call himself Kai Green was always two things right the stomach as you guys know he had that uh, stomach issue right and also the traps. The traps are always have always been uh, basically a weak point in Kai's green uh, anatomy in a sense. Now 293 is quite impressive. He looks, you know, quite. Uh, he's not dialed in, of course, but he is, you know, he's hard. He's not depleted. Definitely looks full, and he's getting there. Now these guys are pros. Usually, uh, they're literally bounce back properly, and during the last week, they literally grow into a show. Now the stomach was always a problem for uh, for Kai Green. I always, you know, make these memes to mock him, right? Of course, it is Photoshop. It is not a real thing. But the real thing, though, is uh, something also, in my opinion, not aesthetic, right? Now, of course, it's not flexed. But then again, you are a bodybuilder. That body part should always be in control. Now this is a real uh, back double biceps, uh, which wasn't. And from my opinion, in 2010, and as you guys can see, it was somehow out of uh, control, right? It is a new trend in, in bodybuilding, and uh, he was not like that all the time. Let me see uh, an older picture of him, if I may. This was Kai Green back in the day when he was a youngster. Look at him, his stomach was, was just fine. And this was another picture. This one, this time around, if I'm not mistaken, was in 2000 and uh, 12 probably his best shape ever if i'm not mistaken and he was actually uh, having that controlled uh, stomach again him when he was younger and this is the best shape ever again in 2012 when some people arguably basically say he should have won versus uh, uh phil heath right uh, as i said it is a trend in bodybuilding look at this back double bicep here you have um, basically wolf uh, Jay Cutler and the rest of the field and you can see basically this guy disgusted by their gut when they turn basically they all let their gut uh, basically uh, uh, come off unfortunately for Kai Green I don't think the problem he would be able to fix I mean promptly and also definitely it's just not feasible I'm gonna show you a uh, side chest of this guy side chest there we go each time he does a side chest even when he's lean fortunately that is the prominent uh, basically stomach that comes out and in my opinion and also in my observation it has to do with his body structure in a sense his back goes so deep on the back it almost like uh, creates a hole in a sense and it will bring basically his stomach forward always in this position there is no way for him to fix it it is this way there is no other way around look at his back uh, he has like a hole in his back this basically pushes almost his spine forward and the stomach comes in so it's not that he is unhealthy in a while well, well, granted his stomach is big from the get-go but this condition here just does not help it is quite exceptional his back creates literally a hole uh, in the center which will always push the stomach forward even when he's lean. This is the leanest condition he had, right? A stomach, unfortunately, he, he will always come back. Same goes with his traps. His traps are literally non-existent. Look at them, they're flat. I'm gonna try to uh, show you a comparison. Ah, this one, this one of last year, actually. This one is from last year, if I'm not mistaken. And I pointed this out, and his tra trainer did not like it. George did not like it. He answered me on Facebook, he told me, bro, 
I don't know what you're talking about. Well, listen, bro. I mean, this is a prominent stomach, in my opinion, with all due respect. I mean, I'm, you know, you, you yourself, you were an IFBB pro, and by all standard, this is not aesthetic. I'm just sorry, right? It is where it is. But then again, aside from the gut being big, he has this thing here, this hole in his, uh, almost in his spine, pushing forward. Now, let me uh, show you a comparison between him and uh, Ronnie Coleman real quick there we go if I found that picture because I know a thing or two right about this uh, two guys now you can clearly see the major difference between these two guys both of them has crazy backs right but when it comes to the traps department I mean do you even right I mean Kai Green unfortunately always been his weakness I'm gonna show you another pick if I can find it real quick there we go traps fortunately it is one of his weakness and he does not seem basically to uh, to fix it as a matter of fact let's show let's show him uh, wow this is it look at it okay coach shrugs uh, shrug it is I didn't think uh, anyone would notice my incomplete back let's aim for mr. Olympia top five I mean look at him next to Ronnie Coleman Kai you have no traps now go and do some shrugs look look at ronnie coleman dwarfing you this is his trainer <laughs> george farah in a meme i mean supposedly saying that but you know it's just a meme but again even versus the rain mr olympia it just shows look at him his traps are inexistent if we go deeper in the analysis and unfortunately judges do not understand this it's not that he does not train them it has to do in my opinion and in my reckoning with his body structure as well the back is overdeveloped look at that hole he has there it when he poses he cannot basically show them and furthermore even when he trains them the range of motion should not is not in my reckoning that efficient to develop this uh this body uh, uh group just when he would never have this crazy sight like ronnie coleman does so that's it uh tell me what you think about it guys uh, it is only six weeks. I'll keep you guys posted. We'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. Uh, you know, he's not getting any younger. Hopefully, hopefully he will bring a shape uh, resembling that of 2012, right? Although uh, his trainer, George Farah, said he's trying to bring, bring him actually even bigger, but also shredded. So we'll see how it goes. Hopefully he will not commit the same mistake as last year. Tell me what you think about it, guys. God bless you all. Have a nice one.